Gemini placements, how do you do? Gemini. Gemini. Six of Pentacles. Is this work? Is this... Um, hmm. Feels like you are, you have something under control. What is it? Under control. You have got this situation under control. Like by the leash type of control. <laughs> kind of toxic type of control. <laughs> Hot damn. What is this? I don't see it yet, but I see how strong you have uh, an upper hand in this situation. You have an upper hand in a situation that could be about work, could be about people that you have in your life. <sighs> Let me see. This is something that you know that you got, meaning that, you know, when you have a situation and you say, you know, I've got this, I know how to deal with this, I know how to work with this, um, whereas other people might feel overwhelmed by this position or overwhelmed by um, the situation as a whole. So I'm not sure, like, if this is a romantic situation, I feel like you are truly dominant in this connection. But if this is a workplace type of scenario, I feel like you are a manager, a boss, someone that you supervise over, that you have a control over. I feel like you're very good with your, um, with your tongue right now. And I don't mean it in a sexual way. I mean that you have a very assertive, assured tone that's getting things done in this situation. So you have total control over this situation. If anything, you have so much control that you can get away with things <laughs> that could be um, toxic. Meaning that you have so much power over this situation that you can abuse it. Does that make sense? But I don't see that you're ab abusing anything just yet. <laughs> so far, it's it's giving me that you have total control over the situation and you you have the upper hand in this situation. So, I don't know. I don't, I don't really know what this is trying to say. Besides that, you have the upper hand and you have the you have the control and you can abuse it. But you shouldn't. Okay. I mean, that's that's the right thing to do. You shouldn't abuse any type of power that you are in. Because there will be consequences to that. Okay, so keep that in mind. You know... Like, whatever you're doing with this control is going to pay off in your favor. As long as you don't abuse the power that you have. Okay? As long as you don't abuse the power that you have. Because if you abuse, there will be, um, like you said, consequences. But it will also be in the physical. This is not just karma. This is going to be uh, effects of your actions that will create rebellion. I don't know what this is to you, Gemini, um, but you know, I'll say what I, I'll say what I get. I'll say what I get. So, 
I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna pull more cards because I don't even know what to ask. I don't even know what to ask. Is this a is this a work situation? Mm. It could be a work situation, but it's not. It's not your usual work. So this tells me that you are either an entrepreneur or your own boss, or you have a your like you have your own company or something of that sort. I do feel like this is a small business. If this is a business, meaning that you have possibly a partner or someone that you have under you, meaning that you supervise them. You could be like a CEO of, of a small company or someone that is in control of a small company. I don't know why I'm getting a company or a small business specifically. And you've got this, like you have got this. You can, you can make this very successful and it can go really far. As long as you don't abuse it or become greedy of more. And that rhymes, wow, okay. <laughs> if you stay fair and collected and don't abuse your power, you will bring the 10 of cups to you and the people that work for you. So your bossy attitude is going to pay off. You, Your assertive demeanor is going to pay off. As long as you do it for the goodness of the business and yourself and others. If you try to abuse it, like I said, there will be consequences. Okay, so we've got that covered. All right, let's see the prominent energy of the people surrounding you. Prominent energy of the people surrounding Gemini. Two pentacles. Knight of Wands, the moon. I just heard cheater and I don't know what that means just yet. We'll see, we'll see. Mm. You have someone here that is uh, attractive to some extent, you know? They've, they've got that energy, that vibe. And um, they, yeah, wow. You know, remember when I said cheater? Here comes the seven of swords. Which is known to be the cheater, the, the stealer, the whatever. Gemini, you have someone here that is double-faced. And when I say double-faced, I don't feel like they... I don't feel like they are the type that will lie to your face, but they will hide the truth from you, meaning that this is a person that has other things going on romantically but they won't tell you so this is a cheater and this is someone that's lying by omission maybe you did ask a couple of questions and they avoided that question or changed the subject or kind of like uh avoided answering you in a way where they lie so this is someone that is holding a secret tell me about this secret is it someone else mm. yeah they have someone here that they use for different purposes than you what is the nature of the con what, what is the nature of the connection between this person and Gemini? Two 
you know that they lie. So even if you didn't catch this person, you feel like they have lied about something, you feel like they're hiding something. So your intuition is telling you that this person is not to be trusted. Okay, so you had a connection with this person or have a connection with this person. Did you, uh, did Gemini uh, disconnect from this person? Yes. You could be taking this situation or this person as someone to just fuck around with. You don't trust this person one bit. I see that. Okay. You don't trust this person. And it feels as if like you're allowing them to get away with things because you don't have intention to move things to the next level with them. Meaning that you know that they're they're up to something which you do not want to be involved in besides being sexually active with them. So you have a situation here. You have a situation here. And uh, we'll look into that situation more in depth and uh, see where it goes because this is something that is keeping a an energetic tie to your love life and to your romantic life. We'll see where it goes in the extended. The extended link will be in the description box. I'll see you there.